going on YouTube? Uh, I'm doing this video again for a second time. I know it already had like four or five views. I did it about an hour ago. But uh, when I watched it to test it, I saw it was lagging a lot and it was really choppy. So I decided to redo it. It's a review. Uh, it's a video game review on a downloadable title that it just came out about a week ago or so on the PSN and came out about a month ago before that on the Xbox 360 Live. Uh, and it is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time Reshelled. Uh, this game, the reason I wanted to do a review on it, aside from the fact that I'm a, I'm a huge Turtles fan, is that I, I saw the I, I knew about this game right from all the articles and clips and all that I seen about uh, on it from the different websites, and so I was looking very much forward to this game. And then right when it came out, I still didn't you know I hadn't gotten paid yet, so I wasn't gonna download it until I got paid. So I decided let me check out IGN's review. I'm usually you know I trust IGN's reviews for the most part. And I watch IGN's review on it, and I'm just blown away about how negative and critical IGN's review is of Turtles in Time. You know, I watched the video, video review, and then I read most of the written review. And I think IGN really slammed this game for no apparent reason at all. I mean, really. Uh, a lot of their gripes say that it was, uh, a lot of their complaints about it were that it's a button masher. That uh, it's so simplistic that you can beat the game in 30 minutes by just holding right on the directional pad and keep pounding the attack button. That's what Turtles in Time has always been. It's a beat em up. That's what any beat em up really is. Uh, they say it didn't age well. What kind of garbage excuse is that? It's 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 all it is is a makeover of a game that is 10 plus years old that came out in the arcades and Super Nintendo maybe almost even 20 years old I don't know I'm not gonna really think on the math right now all I know is it's a very old game came out on the SNES and on the arcades and you're gonna say it didn't age well when this is not supposed to be a new game this is just a makeover version of that game giving that game HD graphics and a couple more features and that's about it but the core gameplay is gonna be the same they didn't promise that they were gonna change the gameplay it was going to be the same game. So since they did not promise you a change, why are you going to slam them because it didn't change? It didn't age well. It didn't, you know, they, it was too simplistic. It's a button masher. That doesn't make any sense to me. Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix got rave reviews. It is the same old Street Fighter 2 Turbo with HD graphics. It's, that's it. It is the exact same thing. It doesn't even have the combo system of later Street Fighters like Alpha and stuff like that. It is the same old simplistic 2D side-scrolling fighter it was on the Super Nintendo and in the arcades. And you're going to tell me that aged well? That gameplay aged well when you compare it to some of the later uh, fighting games like Marvel vs. Capcom or even the 3D fighting games we got today like Tekken and Soul Calibur and the Mortal Kombat and things like that. You're going to tell me that, two, that 2D Street Fighter uh, gameplay aged well? Yet all they did was really slap on some HD graphics on it and give you online multiplayer and you gave it rave reviews. That doesn't make sense to me. That's all I'm saying. So I felt I should review this game, give it an honest uh, um, an honest shake. Now I will admit I'm a Turtles fan. You can say I'm biased because of that. No, because uh, if a game is garbage, I'll tell you it's garbage. I'll tell you as a fan of, even if it's a, something that I'm a fan of, I'll tell you, look, I'm a fan of this and I enjoy it because I'm a fan, but the gameplay may be garbage. I'll tell you straight up, whatever. So... Here's a review. Basically, <clears throat> I downloaded it. It cost $10, right? It is essentially the exact same game from beginning to end that Turtles in Time was all those years ago. Okay, the notable changes are they gave it a facelift, bro. The graphics are beautiful. Each turtle looks, you know, distinct. They look like their real counterparts, like Raphael looks like Raphael, Leonardo looks like Leonardo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they gave them all their distinct voices. So, you know, back in the, in the old Turtles in Time game, the arcade and the SNES version, they all had the same voice. It was all the same cowabunga and all the same, you know, audio clips with the same exact voice. You know, just one voice fits all, basically. On this one, Raph sounds like Raph. Leo sounds like Leo. Mike sounds like Mike, and so on. Uh, the graphics are beautiful. The lighting effects are wonderful. You know, there are stages where you, you know, like the prehistoric stage. And uh, even right off the bat, the first stage, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of... Um, places in these stages where you can see the the, the the enhancements as far as lighting goes like you know in the caves in the prehistoric level you'll see light cracking in through the, the, the you know the holes in the cave and uh, you know you'll, it has some really good lighting effects really smooth and fluid animations plus a host of brand new animations that weren't there before like uh, you know when you're in the train level 
you'll see uh, foot soldiers coming on horseback and they'll jump off their horseback and every once in a while they'll land on the train but they'll land on the edge and they'll have to like you know struggle to keep their balance you know in the sewer in the sewer surfing levels and in the neon night riders levels when you're on the hoverboards and the surfboards so are the foot soldiers and when you smack them and you punch them you see them like trying to hold their balance on the board and some of them fall off you see some other ones running with the board you know like running like with a surfboard and then they jump on it all i mean it's it's really well done really well animated a lot of detail uh, so those are some of the changes. Another change is you got online uh, multiplayer as well as local multiplayer. So you can play cooperatively for Turtles or you can play online for Turtles, which is amazing. A um, couple of other changes I noticed is, uh, for example, some of the bosses and some of the levels have been changed slightly. Uh, for example, in the original Turtles in Time, the original arcade and the original SNES version, you played, I think it was about four or five present day levels before you got sent back in time. You played all the way through to the Technodrome where you had that boss fight with Shredder where Shredder was on this machine and the, you know it was like a 3D stage where the claw would come at the turtles and you had to throw the foot soldiers into the screen you know to hit them and that's when he banished you into the time portal. In this version of the game it's not like that. In this version of the game you only play three levels in present day so the game is a little bit shorter I will say that. You play um, uh, you know Big Apple 3 a.m. the first level, uh, Alley Cat Blues where you fight Metalhead, and then the third level is the sewer surfing level. Now at the end of that level in the original versions you fight the Rat King as a boss. In this one there is no boss, you just get to the end of the level and there's a holographic display of Shredder, voice acting is off the chain by the way, and he you know says he's banishing you to the time portal and that's what happens. Then another change I noticed is when you go into the prehistoric level, you're supposed to fight Slash at the end, that's the boss, the, you know the crazy turtle with a spike shell, he's not there, it's some weird dude named Cement Man who is really annoying. So that's one of the other changes. But other than that, aside from that, the game is I'd, 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 you know, essentially the same. Um, the online multiplayer works great. The only problem is it's harder to find the match than I thought it would be. And I have a feeling that has to do because people would read IGN's review and other reviews of the game that were critical. And because of that, did not buy the game. I'm here to tell those people, if you like the Turtles, if you like beat em up games, the old 90s style, download this game. Because it is just that with HD graphics and an online multiplayer mode that when I did get to play it, Sorry about that, the screensaver came on. When I did get to play the online multiplayer, it was very fun. It was very fluid, no lagging, no problems. And that was really fun because you had all four turtles on the screen at the same time, and it was kind of like an online arcade, basically. Uh, so, very fun, man. Very good stuff. I think the game is very well, very well made for $10. I mean, come on, dude. It's the turtles, and it's a full blown game with HD graphics. Brand new look, beautiful. Um, what else can I say about it? I mean, that's about it, man. You know, it's $10. You know, it's not breaking your wallet. And I say, really, that, um, you know, if you're a Turtles fan and a fan of the beat em ups, you need to download this game. And if you do, I'll see you online. Um, as far as a number rating or a star rating, uh, IGN gave this game like a 5.6 or something like that, 5.8. Said it was mediocre. I piss all over that. I tell you, this game deserves at least a 7.5 to an 8.0. It is a faithful reproduction of the old game with some slight changes and graphical enhancements and a few more player modes added. You can't go wrong. So it, I give this game at least a 7.5 to an 8.0. You know what I'm saying? You want a star rating, I give it a 3.5 to 4 stars. It's a very fun game, very fun downloadable title. Uh, me and my wife play it all the time. You know, and I play it online all the time with people on my, on my PlayStation networks. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I, I think it's a very well done game. Uh, you know, and uh, again, I'm doing this video, again. this is the second time I do it, I had to replace the old video, the old review for this game because, <laughs> oh, excuse me, oh, hiccups man, because it was uh, chopping up and it was lagging a lot, so uh, I just hope you all enjoy this, I hope you enjoyed the review, I hope that you'll take my advice, if you, if, you know what I'm saying, it's not for everybody, but if you like the Turtles and you like beat em up games, especially the old 90's arcade style, I'm hoping you'll take my advice, download this game for 10 bucks, and I'll see you online man, I got dibs on Leonardo, God bless, peace.